What's up, music makers? It's Luke from Sojourner Tracks. Have you ever wanted to create a drum kit from your own samples? As far as I'm aware, this capability has always existed in Logic, but it has never been easier than it is right now. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. And then at the end, show you how you can get Logic Drummer to actually play the kit that you've created. If you like today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and let me know that you liked it. There are sample packs, both free and paid versions that you can find all over the internet. Or if you wanna get really creative, you can make your own um, from just sampling different things around your house, which reminds me of Dave Days, um, a YouTuber uh, who released a sample pack a number of years ago. And I believe like the kick was him hitting a frozen loaf of bread against a refrigerator and someone uh, biting into Pringles was the snare or the hi-hat or something like that. But you can get really creative and just make your own percussive sounds and then turn it into a drum kit that's playable. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through using uh, samples that I created from a toy keyboard that I bought off of Amazon. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below to my Patreon page. Um, if you become a patron, you can uh, get a hold of those samples for yourself as well as see the video of me and my brother and kind of the process that we went through to get those samples from that child's keyboard. It's not as bad as you might think. It's actually pretty cool, but I digress. Let's get into it. The first thing you need is to load up a software instrument track. So up here, the add tracks button, software instrument, create. And then under the instrument slot, you wanna bring up drum machine designer here at the bottom. If you haven't had a chance to look at this engine yet, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna get too deep into it, but you'll see all these pads here that are labeled for different drum pieces, and then those are assigned positions on a keyboard. Um, so if you've played uh, with a MIDI keyboard at all um, using drums, you know that there's kind of this universal language um, where C1 is generally a kick, D1 is generally a snare, and so on and so forth. So you, while you could change uh, the mapping on here, uh, I do want this to translate to Logic Drummer uh, down the road. So I, I'm gonna follow this map as is. And if you page over here, you'll find some of the less traditional kit pieces, bongos, congas, all the, uh, the other stuff. But the first page, the uh, main page is all of the core drum kit pieces that you would most likely be using. And to load up your samples is really just as easy as uh, going up here to the browsers tab. On my desktop, I have this folder with uh, my samples from that toy keyboard, including some uh, animal sounds on here that I hope to use percussively, but I won't get into that. Um, all you need to do is, uh, for example, click the kick, drag it over to the kick slot, and then if I go over here to my MIDI controller, my keyboard, I hit C1, there is my kick. So I'm just gonna fill in the rest of these pieces quickly. Uh, I've got my snare, I've got my rim, I've got a clap, I've got a hi-hat, and then um, percussion, uh, one through four, those usually be toms, I only have one, so I'll put it in this slot. Like I said, there's probably a a slot for things like wood block and uh, cowbell, but I'm just gonna put those um, in some other slots for now. And it's not important for this demonstration, but uh, if all you wanted to do was then to uh, play in your, uh, your own parts using a MIDI controller or to draw them in uh, using your sampled kit, then you'd be ready to go at this point. Um, using my MIDI controller, I have a a fully functioning drum kit there. But like I said, um, while some people are really good at that, it does not usually uh, work well for me. It's kind of, you know, me plinking away and kind of piecemealing a beat together. And uh, I'd, I instead prefer to use all of the power behind the Logic Drummer interface. So uh, now that we have this kit mapped out here, if I double click on the name, I can rename it Toy Kit. 
Um, and this is where it gets a little bit less intuitive because we need to actually save this then as an instrument patch. And this would be the same process for saving any instrument patch, not just drum machine designers, but pianos, keyboards, etc. cetera. Uh, you go down to the bottom of the library, there's a save button, and you wanna make sure that you're in your instrument folder, which it should default to. Um, toy kit patch for the name, that's good. We'll save that. And then now you'll see that under user patches, we have the toy kit. So uh, out here in the arrangement window, then we can create a drummer track. And I'm just gonna pull up the defaults here. Uh, obviously you could pick whatever preset you want. You can pick whatever drummer you want. Um, and then you have all of the capabilities of this interface as well. Uh, what we're interested in is changing the drum kit. So um, with the library still pulled up, you'll see uh, right now we got the SoCal kit pulled up. But if we go back over to the left side, up to the user patches, we can now select the toy kit, which is super awesome. and playing it much better than I ever could on my MIDI controller. And I can also uh, use the full force of this awesome interface. If you wanna know more about how to really put this interface to work for you, I did do a video on that, so be sure to check that out. But uh, we can just mess around with this and, and create something uh, on the fly. So you can see that really quickly gives you a lot of options um, and uh, saves you from having to plink away on your keyboard if that is something that you struggle with like I do. Uh, hopefully that has been helpful for you. Um, like I said, these uh, sampled pieces from the toy keyboard are actually available to my Patreons on my Patreon page, so be sure to check that out. I'd love to see uh, what you guys can do uh, with that. And uh, hopefully this inspires you to go out and do something creative. Um, make your own kits and then uh, let me know how it goes in the comments below. But that'll do it for me. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.